Hi, this is James Governor from Redmonk again. Um, we're here to talk about integrated systems, and uh, the sponsor is IBM Pure Systems. Uh, basically, uh, what we're trying to do this week is, is to make people think again about the servers they buy, why they buy them, what are some of the dynamics that they should be paying attention to. I think one of my favorite dynamics is um, craft beer. Uh, it's an interesting market, and um, it's one that you should learn about. So the bottom line is this. In London, in particular, there is this explosion of new craft breweries. So we've, uh, having seen closing uh, breweries for many, many years, um, we're, we're now back up to the biggest spike we've seen since the 1930s. There are now a thousand breweries in the UK. We're seeing new ones launched every week. A lot are in the Hackney area, which is interesting. Um, that's an area of London where there are also, also a lot of the tech startups. And these are not entirely um, separate movements. And the simple fact is, the cost of launching a business is lower than it's ever been. Um, the cost of launching a tech startup is lower than it's ever been. And the cost of lowering a, l launching a brewery is lower than it's ever been. And the way that we've, we've achieved this, this position is standardized infrastructure, standardized building blocks, um, sharing of information. So if you look at all the breweries in London right now, whether it's the Colonel, whether it's London Field Brewery, whether it's Camden Brewery, they're all sharing information about best practice, how to get stuff done. They're not holding it close to their share, chest. They're holding stuff in, in a way or sharing stuff in a way so that they can build a better product together. And then that collaborative mindset is very interesting. And the bottom line is this, if we think about enabling the craftsmen, the software developers, the practitioners, and so on that are going to build systems, um, we do need to think about uh, bringing the cost down of all of the infrastructure that they need, and that's going to be, as I say, standardization. And as I talked about in the first program uh, in this series, definitely the notion of having an opinion. It's no accident that some of the most effective users of this new infrastructure are very opinionated. Um, it might be the guys at BrewDog up in um, Aberdeen. So the bottom line is that what we've seen is that rather than offering a ton of different configurations and always thinking about mass scale first, you do need to be thinking about scaling out. You do need to be thinking, well, you know what? We can't be thinking this is a 10-year uh, commitment that is going to be all paid for up front. It's got to be something that we can do more like Amazon Web Services, where we can go, we can start to build out this infrastructure over time. I think Camden Brewery is a great example, because much more in the same way that we see scale out uh, IT infrastructures, they basically used railway arches, started with one, populated that, started with another, filled that with brewing equipment, populated another, made that into a bar, and now they've got this wonderful uh, sort of rhythm as a business, and they're definitely becoming a supplier that might not just be a craft brew pub in the UK, they might be kind of the new Sam Adams, and that's their goal. And I think that we can learn from that in tech. And, and, and the bottom line is this, is it's about information sharing, but certainly standardization. I think that's what's really important because the bottom line is um, practitioners are buying again. Um, the CIO is not the person making the purchase in all uh, accounts. Amazon Web Services, it's never done by the senior purchaser or the purchasing department, it's done by a nerd. And so as we see nerds making infrastructure purchases, that changes the game for the vendors. And the kinds of relationships we have to have with server manufacturers are, well, can you get us something immediately? Can you get us something that is as easy to use as the cloud? Can you get us something that we can build on that we don't need to screw around with? And if so, we can build great services, great applications, or ideally, have a decent pint. Cheers.